Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tammy, I run a small business, and in this video, we are gonna sculpt for 24 hours. Today is March 12th and is about 10.30. I've got the time on my iPad here. I'm gonna prop this up on my desk so that you guys can see the time going by. I'm also gonna use a stopwatch so we can actually sculpt for a full 24 hours. If I'm gonna be sculpting all day, I definitely need a fun little drink for myself. Let's make some matcha. Okay, now that I've got my caffeine, I'm ready to sculpt. So I have my list here, and the reason why I like to handwrite all my orders is that it helps me like double corroborate both online and on paper that I'm making the correct item because in every batch, I only ever make enough items for each person to have exactly what they ordered. This is also a really good time for me to look at notes. Like this person wanted a pink sprout instead of a green sprout. And this person wanted a keychain instead of a desk friend. I also just get a ton of nice notes from people saying that they love my art and they love my work. And that just encourages me to keep going for the rest of the day. Now we can finally get started. Say you need a time I think you mean a buyout Cause it's pretty clear you're on your way out And though I understand it's hard sometimes To make up your mind in these trying times, yeah I just can't accept you leaving me When I'm overseas with the heart so heavy All right, the first sculpt of the day is done. It is a cottage core desk friend. I like to paint on the little white dots on the mushrooms after it's baked, but yeah, feeling pretty good. We've been sculpting for 37 minutes. I think if I wasn't filming, this would have only taken 30 minutes max, but I'm actually pretty happy that filming only added like seven minutes. Usually filming things takes way longer than that. I think today I'm worrying less about all the angles and I'm just having fun with it. Let's keep going. I see a lot of different coffee bars on my list, so let's make a batch of the next easy rider on the highway station wagon going slow windows open you are basking in the bluegrass radio friends benefit of getting back together again. Aha, the hassle. Now we're getting down to it. Is that why we're still friends? Because we'll be too The coffee barras have been sculpted. I love them so much. The time is now 108 and I have been sculpting for two hours and eight minutes. I am gonna pause the stopwatch because I have to take Winnie on a walk now. And this is a perfect time to actually talk about the sponsor of this video, which is Farmer's Dog. They are a very good friend of our channel. Winnie used to have a lot of tummy problems and has always been a very picky eater. We've tried so many different types of food and this is the only one that she truly, truly loves. It's because Farmer's Dog is real, fresh, healthy food. It's made with whole meat and veggies, gently cooked in human grade kitchens to preserve their nutritional value. And what I love especially is that it comes in pre-portioned, ready-to-go packs. I just thaw it in the fridge overnight and serve her her portion. The rest I'll stick in a Tupperware in the fridge for later, and that way it's both convenient and fresh. All you have to do is tell them a little bit about your dog, and then they deliver personalized, vet-developed recipes for as little as $2 a day. It's literally never been easier to invest in your dog's health with fresh food. So if you have a puppy in your life too, get 50% off of your first box 
by using my link. Plus, you get free shipping. We ended up walking for like 40 minutes. Thank you, Farmer's Dog, for sponsoring this video. Now I need to eat. I changed into my comfy pants. Let's do this. It is 5.20 and I'm having my first snack of the day. Mr. On Comfy's mom gave us these little ramens. They're like a mini snack sized version of the ramen packets and it's seasoned and it's so, so good. <laughs> It's 6.30 and it's pretty dark outside now, so I have all the lights on. I don't know if you can tell, but I really love warm ambient lighting. However, at my workstation, I only really use white lights. White light is actually what the sun produces, so the colors are more accurate. Here are all the Coquette Maxines I finished. I must reiterate though, I absolutely detest white lighting, but I will say it's very utilitarian. I think that's what I hated most about art school or art studios without windows was that it was all white lighting and I understand why, I just hate it. Anyway, I am done making goldfish for the day. Here is everything we've made so far. I have made 17 items in about six hours. I still have so much to make. Oh boy. Hello. Despite the glowing background behind me, it's actually so, so gloomy today. We had to do a ton of errands like fixing his car and I also had to do some editing. So it's already 2.40. So it's a little bit of a late start sculpting wise, but we're still gonna do it. I'm still gonna clock in because I have orders to get out. Let's get to it, shall we? Apparently it's gonna snow like two to three feet tonight here in Colorado. And it's times like these where I'm so, so grateful that I get to stay home to work and I don't really have to go out if I don't want to. Mr. Uncomfy also has the day off tomorrow so we can just both be home and safe. Starting the clock now.
morning, friends. Do you remember when you were in elementary school and you were just praying and hoping that there'd be a snow day and you got one? That's the feeling I'm having right now, except I still have to work, but it just feels a little more fun, a little more gratifying to be inside all day. We still have a ways to go before this challenge is over. We have about 14 hours left of sculpting, but I'm really, really excited. I think one of the reasons why I'm sculpting so much is to get the rest of my orders done with so I can do other things. I have about 66 pending orders from my Palmer clay shop, but after that, I'm, I'm trying to force myself to take a little break so I can focus on other things that I've just been thinking about for months and months like I want to do some more sketchbooking and more painting and more illustration work. I also want to work on my ceramics collection and sadly I just don't think I can do everything all at once. I have to take a pause from Palmer Clay at least for the time being just so I can at least start on these other projects that I've been wanting to do. If you guys remember my vision board for 2024, one of my goals was to expand my shop with more manufactured items and I think in order to do that I need to draw more and I need to do more illustrations so that's gonna be the sort of content I'll be making moving forward after this video I'm really really excited to grow and expand my store but like I said we still have 14 hours left it's a beautiful day to just sit inside and sculpt Hi guys, so it is 10 o'clock and obviously I've eaten dinner, I worked out and everything, but I am officially 17 hours into this challenge and this is how much I've sculpted. It's almost a full tray. I have like enough space for two or three more items, but yeah, pretty awesome. I love the look and feel of filling up a whole tray. I'm probably gonna sculpt all of tomorrow morning, but as soon as it hits 12, I need to switch gears and start glazing all of these. I'm gonna go to bed now. See you guys tomorrow. and put everything in the oven for them to bake. The snow is already thawing and it's really sunny right now, so it's a perfect day to glaze everything. I feel like this is a part that I don't usually include in my vlogs. The majority of my time is definitely spent sculpting, but a lot of it is also spent glazing with UV resin. If you don't know what UV resin is, it's basically a plastic. It's a type of resin that cures with UV light, so you can use a nail lamp or you could use the sunlight. I prefer using both. We have six hours left in this challenge and I think by the end, I should be able to have glazed everything and assembled everything for you guys which is really really exciting because we'll get to see how many pieces I can do from start to finish in exactly 24 hours. I hope I was in focus. My lens is being a little weird right now and I'm about ready to finally start glazing. I finished painting all of the pieces that need to be painted but there's one last stuff that I like to do to make sure my pieces look immaculate and that is to sand off or use a file of sorts to file off the specks of dirt that I couldn't remove with rubbing alcohol. And then for the past couple of years, I've been using a hand file, but I recently just upgraded to this nail file. This has been by far the biggest improvement or life hack that I've learned this year. I saw this girl on TikTok using it for her polymer clay stuff. So I was like, that is so smart. I'm being bested by like a 17 year old. So here we are. My mother is a nail tech, so she already had these tools laying around. But if you don't know anyone in the nail industry, I think you can get these off Amazon pretty easily. It's just equipped with this like little tip and then it turns on with this power bank and there she goes. 
So now I don't have to trigger my carpal tunnel every time I sand my pieces and it goes by 10 times faster. I will say that it does generate a lot more dust. As with anything Palmer clay, I highly suggest having proper ventilation. I'm actually gonna move my air purifier closer to me now. I'm gonna put it on the highest setting. I also have the windows open and I'm gonna make sure to wear a mask while I do the sanding. Just like doesn't get over people, and so even though he knows that like she's not interested, he's like, but she's like, yeah, I really don't want to be a queen. Cormac is like, I actually want to be a queen, and she's like, let's show that. Let's that, and we'll talk about that later if we survive. And here's where we learn everything. Room. We are officially. 20 hours into the video. I think that's just the right amount of time to glaze all of these pieces. So here's my setup. When working with UV resin, I like to wear gloves. That, these are like fancy nitro gloves that my boyfriend got for me from his work. He's like a chemist. And then I also wear a respirator. This one is by 3M and it filters out organic vapors. My window is open. I'm watching Carrie can read. Here is my UV lamp. It turns on like this and I usually put a towel over it so the light doesn't hit my skin so much. Here are all the pieces that we are glazing. I like to fasten all the desk friends onto like little pieces of paper. It just makes it easier for me to hold while I glaze. It's pretty much my setup. <laughs> guys i did it it's pretty late at night now so i think i'm gonna clean up and i'll show you guys everything that i made tomorrow morning good night We finally made it to the end. In 24 hours, I managed to make 48 items, which is pretty crazy because if I wasn't filming, I could have definitely made more. I'm really, really proud of myself. I kind of have to pack these like right away before the postman gets here, but thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you had fun. I hope you had a cozy, good time. Thank you again, Farmer's Dog, for sponsoring this video. If you have a furry friend at home, definitely check them out and I'll see you guys next week. Rusty red on her shoulder, I was cleaning her shoe When it clicked on the trot over in the bright morning dew We brushed and we braided dandelions and chews